I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we're meeting and I pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging and the Aboriginal elders of other communities who may be here today. I'd like to acknowledge Her Excellency, the Honourable Linda de Sousa, Governor of Victoria and Mr Anthony Howard, the Honourable Daniel Andrews, Premier of Victoria, the Honourable Martin Foley, Minister for Creative Industries, former Governors, the Honourable Alex, Chur Alex Chernov, the Honourable Sir James Gobbo, former Premiers, the Honourable Ted Bailey, the Honourable Steve Brax, the Honourable John Kane and the Honourable jo Jeff Kennett. I'd like to also acknowledge John Wiley, President of the Library Board of Victoria, also very honourable, and members of the Library Board, Foundation Council and committees. And I'd like to acknowledge our Vision 2020 major sponsors, the Ian Potter Foundation, the John and Miriam Wiley Foundation, the Hanson Little Foundation, Alan and Maria Myers, the Christine Christian Foundation and Gandalf Philanthropy. And to all our wonderful library supporters and guests here tonight, welcome. This grand room, the library's original reading room, has been closed to the public for 16 years. And what you see here tonight is symbolic of the broader transformation of the State Library, which draws on the very best of the past to create a library for the future. It's been wonderful down in the foyer to hear so many of your memories of this glorious room. There are stories of hours of studious endeavour and hours of creative pursuit, of quiet retreat and of curiosity and discovery in this place. But the standout so far has been the recollection from one couple here tonight for whom romance blossomed in this very room 30 years ago, and they've come together, which is good. As an RMIT student, I spent a lot of time uh, in this room when it was the Arts Library. And I recall a conversation with one of my lecturers in this very space. He had reluctantly agreed to give me an extension on an assignment and was initially very pleased to see me in the library. He then looked at the pile of books before me and noted that they were all novels and none bore any relevance to the assignment he was waiting to mark. And he made the observation along the following lines, some find this reading room a source of endless inspiration and motivation, for others it's a source of endless distraction. For me, and for many of you, I'm sure, it's been all of those things and so much more. And tonight, it's incredibly special to be able to open the doors so that new memories can be made in this beautiful space. It's nearly five years ago since the State Library Victoria and the Victorian Government embarked on a partnership to reimagine and transform Australia's oldest and most popular public library. To tell us more about it, please join me in welcoming John Wiley, President of the Library Board of Victoria.